So testing the GDK. Don't believe whatever I say. I'll run. Okay. Uh, we're gonna talk how we testing uh, JDK. We are in Oracle. This is me, Shura. Thank you. We're already putting my true, true first name here. And I'm uh, gonna talk uh, tell very very little bit of how we test JDK because of the time limitation. Uh, and I should start should start with that. Thank you for coming uh, this late. You know there is a party going on right now, right? Uh, anyway. We have a pretty big uh, quality organization, and this is quality organization spread all across the world from uh, go west to east, from San Francisco to Beijing. Um, most people being in uh, San Francisco, Santa Clara. Most people being in Santa Clara and in St. Petersburg, where I'm from, myself. And a um, bunch of smart people, okay, testing, testing JDK. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the development milestones for GDK 8, especially a bit in, in, the, in the view of what it means for us for quality, uh, more than actual uh, development milestones. So there are M1 to M5 are bit driven milestones. What we do in it, we uh, run our promotional testing, which I'll be explaining later what it is. It takes a week, week to two actually. Uh, to run all tests on the uh, support on the platforms which you select for the execution. Um, then uh, there is there is a development developers preview coming. Uh, then there's feature complete coming shortly after feature complete. Uh, test feature complete is coming, which is more test de test complete test development complete more or less. Except of course there are, could be bugs fixed later, and we'll have to adjust the test later after that as well. Uh, then the developer preview. Developer preview we testing. Uh, Intensively, you know there could be bug. The amount of testing we execute on it uh, is uh, significantly more than for promotion testing. All right. Actually, when I when I started talking about the milestones, the most important milestone is test development. Of course, the most bug found during test development, not test execution. So by by uh, the test test development complete, uh, most of the bugs which are not platform dependent, which are not intermittent failures are likely to be find, found already, right? And then all test run starts. This is a long process. It takes six, seven, eight weeks uh, where we execute all the tests on all supported config configurations. It's called ATR, all test run. Then we hit the zero bug bound. It's like uh, there's, uh, there's a code freeze and then Box getting fixed, 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 and or deferred, right? And then we hit the zero value and start bouncing on this zero value. That's the zero bug bound for you. And after that, after some time, it's ready to be released. This is a Oracle release mod model, very different from what we used to have in Sun. That's what we have. Okay, and then the final release candidate, which of course we test thoroughly as thorough as we possibly can, right? I'm writing it down. Uh, so the kind of stuff we do. First of all, there is a regression test. So you guys know about it. It's an open source. It's like around 7K uh, tests. Uh, there is a comparable number of tests in closed regression test suite, right? Uh, we are working on it, and I'll be talking about it later. And then there are functional test suites for uh, separate parts of GDK. Uh, we have uh, test suites, uh, say security, say AWT, say this and that for every part. There are sometimes few different uh, test suites, unfortunately, with different setup and uh, a different uh, data structure and different harnesses even still. We're working on this, but not there yet. Altogether, some hundreds of thousands of tests. Uh, when I'm counting tests, I'm actually counting unit tests. So uh, this is a piece of source which could have a status, fail or pass, right? It's the minimal, the minimal such piece. It could be a directory with a few files, it could be a file, it could be a method uh, within a Java file, depending on the test harness used. So that's the hundreds of thousands of tests. Uh, then, of course, we use conformance. We use it like for conformance testing, and of course, we use it for functional testing bunch of bunch of uh, 
functionality is exercised with TCK, which is only natural. And then we have performance tests, hundreds of test cases, micro benchmarks. Uh, then, of course, the, the, the important point is when we do this development, we're kind of guessing as to how the GDK is going to be used, right? We're using a uh, spec, we're using our brain, uh, smart people, remember? Uh, and um, trying to guess how it's going to be used. However well we do our job, we want to verify that it is indeed uh, used the way we test it or the real usage doesn't find any bugs. So what we can do here, we can take real products, which we do, such as big apps, of these one, 120 hours is a mistake for a few weeks, we're running it for a few weeks, uh, on high, heavy load, some J2E applications, just to see that it really lives, right, that long. We use Tomcat, WebLogic, uh, we use uh, client applications as well, not only the J2E applications. NetBeans, Eclipse are the, probably one of the biggest uh, out of the known widely used applications, right, all their client applications with Java. Accessibility, I will not go into that. J11N, with, which stands for L10N and IATN together, right? Everybody knows what that is, I hope, right? Localization and inter internationalization, and this is globalization. Different configs, we have team in Japan. Why wasn't that on the slide? I don't know. Anyhow, anyhow we have a team in Japan who helps us with that. In by direction on put this and that. And manual tests and automated tests. We do have some manual tests for the client. Now I was going to uh, promise to explain different levels of tests. How, how many time? How much time? Do we I, it's fine. Okay, we don't yes. know. Anyway, so um, this is one of the possible uh, schemas of how it is done. It is done differently for different components. So depending on the needs of the components, of the kinds of the test suites, and the number of tests in nightly PIT, which stands for pre-integration testing or SWOT, <coughs> which is software acceptance testing, uh, <coughs> it may or may not have all these steps. It, and the roles can go different ways, <laughs> actually, sometimes, because for update releases, it's like totally different, right? But the, the concept here is that we do uh, two levels, two uh, increasing levels of testing, the pre-integration testing and this is what the software acceptance testing. Tests there are stable, so the rows out of it goes only down to the product's problem. We rarely see any problems with testing. <coughs> then we do the full testing. There could be some problems in test code, so we file bugs this or that way, fix them. Pre-integration or nightly is executed. Nightly is short, so you could fit it in a few hours. Short this cycle and um, it goes over and over again until we good enough. Right, of course we don't do it manually. That would be crazy. So actually what we have is a J2E application where we plan our execution. We create like a test suite, cross the platforms, etc., close the browsers or you know, Windows look and feels, or this, or that, whatever, depending on the component. And there is a send to the execution engine link. So we click it, goes out there, finds itself a machine, right? Uh, <coughs> executes it, posts results to the result storage database. After some time, email comes, and we just go and see what's going on, right? Uh, it's not for free, it's uh, homegrown stuff all the way through. Uh, we use different harnesses. We use, uh, uh, we write the J2E application, which I was talking about. We write the this and that, this of homegrown. We are developers, right? We're developers who is testing, because the true way to test Java is to write code in Java. Naturally, for us, development is not too expensive as it would be for a different uh, testing team of some other product, product of some other kind. So some numbers, <laughs> one zeros, all right. Uh, so nightly, pretty short, uh, uh, executed on a few platforms, sometimes just one platform, uh, sometimes rotating, uh, pre-integration testing, a little bit bigger when needed, right? SWOT, yet bigger, uh, executed differently, like I said, component per component, differently at different times. 
uh, different place in the uh, integration schema. Uh, then promotion comes, it takes a week or two, right? Number of tests significantly more, almost everything. Uh, some tests take more than well, one week to run, so we may exclude some stuff out of it. We are rotating platforms always, because that would be crazy to run it on all the platforms every time. And then the ATR, which takes six to eight weeks, right? We run all the combinations, such as all the supported browsers on every supported platform. Uh, this, is, this is a lot, right? And uh, that is it. With that, I pass to Paul. Oh, Steve, Steve, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm now going to hand over to Paul. Because we're doing the Oracle startup presentation, which is to have lots of speakers. Sorry, just kidding. Um, uh, that one. And I will hand it to oh, I think. For some reason, it does not want to. Yes, but it doesn't want to know. That'll do. It's good enough. It's definitely. Paul, oh, over to you. Thank you, Steve. Move this down a bit. So, th th those who don't know, so uh, my name is Paul Thwaite, and I'm the quality assurance test lead for Java 8. So when, we, when IBM gets builds from uh, Java builds from, from Oracle, they have already been thoroughly tested. So we, IBM, build on that testing so that when, when we do deliver a quality VM, it's, it is of uh, sufficient quality. So in terms of the testing that we do, we have hundreds of products uh, available, that, IBM products that we test on and that we provide to our customers. And so essentially, the Java that we test goes into all of these IBM products. The, uh, the, the tests that we run, uh, I'll go into, go into in a second, uh, but we do run um, tens of thousands of tests. We also look at the uh, tests that are available in the open source community. In particular, I'll just bring out a few. Uh, we, we test uh, Apache Hadoop, so we do run regular tests on that because we want to make sure that when IBM delivers a Java to, to, to our customers that it is going to work with um, Apache Hadoop. And also, we, we run uh, various tests on the various scripting languages that are at the moment, because these scripting languages have their own tests, which uh, we download and run those on IBM Java. The, the aim here is, is, to, is to effectively cover the, the whole of the Java API. In the, the testing that we do, uh, is, is listed here. My team concentrates on system tests, uh, so the more complicated scenarios uh, associated with quality assurance. This is the type of testing that we do. Uh, it's, 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 it's big, We've, so I'm just going to call out a few. We run the Derby test suites across all the platforms that IBM supports. Uh, we, we've, uh, when NIO2 came into Java 7, we wrote a test suite to test NIO2. Um, specifically with this one is that AIX and Z, we needed to make sure that it worked on AIX and Z being IBM platforms. Now, this is the, pub, the problem we have is that if you look at uh, what our customers are using, how our customers are using Java, they have huge heaps. Uh, they are running many thousand, up to thousands of threads. Uh, big machines in terms of cores. We, uh, IBM offer uh, four garbage collectors, so they need to be thoroughly tested. So when you add all that up, that's, it's a massive combination of different types of tests. And I have here some, some lovely numbers. So here we uh, effectively, once you, because of the, the test cycle that we have, we, we end up having uh, running hundreds of builds, hundreds of tests on every build, where we have many test machines uh, and, and many platforms on those test machines. Uh, when you, we add it up, effectively, it ends up to be millions of tests. And the problem is, not all of those uh, pass. So how do you, how do we work out of those that didn't pass, how, how many of those are defects and so on? 
What we ended up doing is that we've, we've, we have, similar to, to what Shura was talking about, an automated system. Uh, and in order to get through all the testing that we do, we have a, a, we effectively are running testing 24 by 7. I'm, I'm speeding up a bit because so we can have a bit more time. So the, the, the way that the testing is, is done is that we, we have a, a, sem, a similar system to, to Oracle in terms of the tests are all, all run automatically uh, 24 by 7 and results are collected. Uh, the, uh, the, the failures are analyzed, defects are raised uh, and, um, and defects are fixed and so on. So it's, it is an automated system. If, the, if you look at the global machine pool, um, here we have um, uh, hundreds of machines are sitting there running tests all the time. So open JDK activities. So this, this is great. Our, uh, Oracle and IBM thoroughly test Java. The problem we have is that the tests that we have typically can't be, don't, um, can't be uh, consumed by the community. Uh, so the, the, the challenge we have is that given the fact that the numbers of tests that are available is small, we, we, want to be able to build, uh, we want to be able to write more tests. So we're asking you to help us. What we want, to, we need to be able to define a set of standard, test standards to use. We need to identify some frameworks, so have an agreement on which framework we want to use. And even though, so if once we've done that, we still need to understand which areas the OpenJDK actually need in tests. So we were actually concentrating on the right type of, in the right APIs. And then, once, and then once we have the tests, where are we going to put these tests? That's, that's an important question that we need to answer. The third-party test suites is what, we, uh, what IBM run. They, there's Java out there, there are tests out there. Why aren't we, uh, as a community, running these as a, as a, as a, you know, a daily thing or whatever? Because it's, they are there, we should be using them, reuse the tests that are already there. And then once the tests are run, we need to be able to report the results in an open way so that everyone can see the results. Uh, th this slide here really just talks about what we consider to be a decent test. Uh, so the acronym first, fast, independent, repeatable, small, transparent. We are talking here about unit tests. Uh, the, 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 main, the, the main knowledge needs to be kept to a minimum and, uh, and it has to be well documented. So what we want to do is, is, is have an agreement in the community of what defines a test. Uh, the third party application tests, uh, I, I've talked about this enough, so I won't really go into much detail here. The, 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 the point about these tests is that they tend to come with a friendly license, so uh, you can download them and run the tests. Uh, they, they, it, it, within the testing that we've done, they have uh, helped find some, some bugs within testing that we've done. And it is the Java that we can use to, to throw out the um, Open JDK if it's appropriate to do so. So, in summary, uh, IBM and Oracle test Java, and we do deliver a qu very quality build to, to customers. Uh, but the tests can't be communicate, can't be contributed. So, we need a way of uh, of engaging with the community to help us. In help us solve this problem. So, yeah. Well, sorry. Yeah, I have a portion of slides. Yeah, a portion of slides left. I think, um, given that we're making this very dynamic, um, I think it would just be worth touching on something that Paul talked about, but very quickly. Um, so you saw that we've got, Oracle does all this testing, I've been this testing, and it's all great, fantastic. We have billions and trillions of tests that we'd like to contribute. But we can't contribute them, and you're going to say, why can't you contribute them? Right? And the, ma the main reason is, is that the providence of the tests. Right? So if you're a developer and you're contributing code, there's a real focus on whether the code that you're contributing is yours to contribute. Uh, when you're a tester, what you're trying to do is work out, you're trying to make sure that, you dis that you're preventing regressions. So the types of tests that you use and where they come from may be customer related, uh, they may be very specific, so it gets very hard for you to say, I've got, some, I've got a test I want to contribute, 
because it may be something that you can use internally, but generally they're not something that you can contribute. So when we were starting this exercise, both companies were looking hard about whether we could contribute to the test cases. And believe me, we've tried very hard to figure out whether we could actually take all this wonderful stuff we've done and give it to OpenJDK. And the simple answer is, we can't do that. Right? So I think it's worth pointing out, this isn't us saying, oh, we can't do this. This is, we worked hard. It's not possible. Yeah. Is there a simple explanation of why? Uh, providence. Okay, so to, yes, and, and that may be because specifically we know we can't contribute it. In other cases, we're going, we're not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and to be honest, and the third thing, actually, to be honest, is also the fact that some of these test cases are very implementation specific. You know, so there's whole sets of reasons that say, that's not to say that we don't have some that we can't contribute, but if you look at the number of tests compared to the whole, it's actually fairly small. Yeah, sorry, I'm talking to both of us. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. So, you've got some more tests? Okay, right, let's just see whether we can drive the technology. Yes, remaining, yes. I am just the compare. Sorry, Chris. some portion of slides of how you can help, right? I will not stop here. Yeah. Uh, we do have an instructions, or rather asking you to do uh, as the way you develop your test, what uh, guidelines to follow, right? So no platform specific stuff. Be careful with resources. There are hundreds of tests to be executed in the same VM possibly, right? Uh, shared VM, please. and multiple execution on the same machine at the same test at the same time. Uh, talk to us, basically, in a nutshell, talk to us. If anything wrong, documentation, whatever. Right, and this is the portion which I wanted to uh, talk about. You guys probably heard about the uh, Open OpenGDK scorecard. And there are some items which are related to testing on, testing on it. We are taking them, we are working on them, right? We're gonna, what, Step by step, we, we, we're going to, of course, fix the pages. No problem about that. <coughs> uh, test execution, at least what the stuff which we execute, we're going to publish test results and numbers and also the uh, numbers of tests existing. We work on uh, uh, open sourcing some tests. We're moving tests from closed part of regression test suite to open part of regression test suite as I speak, right? And from functional test suites to open part of regression test suites as well. I would not comment on the speed of this activity, but we are doing it, really, right now. So, performance data, code coverage, yes, we have the numbers. I'm not able to give you anything, but we will be publishing them also, right? <clears throat> uh, make it easy to build, to create, to add, as, as far as I'm concerned, JTRH may not be the friendliest test harness, but Friendly enough as harnesses go, honestly, that, that could be wild, but g is okay. But if you're not happy, let's talk, right? And we are thinking about supporting some other test harnesses right now, and we already have internal limitations for supporting that. I will leave them unnamed for now. Uh, like I said, we are moving tests into OpenGDK, and now I'm done, and now we can take questions, right? Thank you. It was obviously not very clear. Should we do it again? Should we go around again? I don't mind. We've got all night. Okay. Um, 
yeah, so sorry again for the beginning, which was a little bit confused. And as you can see, we've, this is IBM Oracle together working hard to try and solve this problem. Uh, we need your help. And, you know, okay, so it's a small gathering, but there's no reason why you can't go out and say, you, know, you saw IBM and Oracle working very hard to try and solve a test problem, which you may not have been aware of. Maybe it was the, you thought it wasn't a problem. It is a problem. OpenJDK needs a test suite, right? And it's a big problem that needs to be solved. It's going to take time. Um, and we've looked hard at how we could do it, how we could kickstart it. We have some ideas, but we need input from you guys. And so, you know, please take the message out that if you have people who, maybe you have some quality engineers or you know quality engineers who, you know, could come and help write some test cases. We are looking for that. Uh, we, we have some ideas on what makes a good test case. We have some ideas on what might be areas to test. But to be honest, given where we're starting, if you have some ideas on things that should be better, you know, go off and write a test case in a particular area, you know, there it's go do it and contribute to it. It's not gonna we're not gonna say no. Okay. So thank you. So any questions? Oh sorry. They're hiring. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, um, and uh, I suspect there's still free beer downstairs, so thank you very much. Thank you.